Is the coronavirus outbreak something to do with the Huawei ban in the US? Well, let's have a look. If you look at China's political or everyday behavior, it's all about face saving. Chinese don't like being embarrassed or look as if they are defeated. If they seem to think they are defeated, they will give something back to you. It's very much part of a Chinese culture, a core social value. The need to save face can cause people to demonstrate some strange behaviors. US and China had an ongoing trade war. Back in May 2019, the United States banned Huawei, a Chinese company. If you don't know what Huawei does, the company provides telecommunications equipment and sells consumer electronics like computers and smartphones. The company likes to brand itself as better quality at a cheaper price. So basically, some US officials expressed concern that the Chinese government could exploit the company to spy on Americans. In May 2019, the Trump administration placed Huawei on a trade blacklist. With that action, Trump stopped Huawei from accessing certain American technologies. The ban meant that Google won't be able to license Play Store, Gmail, Google Maps and other Google apps and services to new Huawei devices. And the ban isn't just Google, it's all US companies. Microsoft also removed all Huawei products from their site. There was also pressure by the US to force its allies to follow suit, as some countries already stopped purchasing Huawei's network tech in fear of CCP spying. It is said that the people involved with running Huawei are directly related to China's leadership. So the US classified Huawei as a national security threat amid claims the company has close ties to the Chinese government and military apparatus. Huawei said the decision to ban was based on mistaken assumptions. Huawei was like a jewel in the crown of the Chinese Communist Party. It was a Chinese pride in the West. Banning Huawei was like hurting the ego of the CCP. They simply wouldn't live with that defeat. We knew China would retaliate. They wouldn't just simply just sit and take it. It had to do something which would hurt the United States. And so it's very likely that the coronavirus was a retaliation to the Huawei ban. It is also very likely that it was grown in a lab and planted in the Chinese wet market where it all began.